It's Madden NFL 24. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Green Bay Packers. And it comes your way next. This is such a special place. You drive through the streets of Green Bay, no tall buildings, quaint houses, and then boom, right there in the middle of the neighborhood is iconic Lambeau Field. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Green Bay Packers. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. <laughs> you know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? Set to go in a rematch of what would come to be known later as the first Super Bowl. The Chiefs and Packers are underway. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Here's Love looking to pass on the first play. That's complete. He finds Jaden Reed. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. He's still on his feet. Inside the 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Keyshawn Nixon now on the return. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive.
Now the man from UTEP. This is Aaron Jones. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Now second and seven from the 23. They'll go again to Jones. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. And this will be a Packers first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. And they get the guard, John Runyon. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Love. And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Here's James returning. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league, it's Patrick Mahomes. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes, and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. First down, they go back to Pacheco. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now here's Mahomes. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, was it a breakdown of protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. They're going to look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. Fourth down, so Kansas City sends out Tommy Townsend. Jaden Reed is deep for Green Bay. 
And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? <laughs> turnover, you just noted it punt's on the first better, drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter. And now, if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. And this will be a Packers first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. First down going to the air with love. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Love now. Quick slant to Watson. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. Love with it here, third and short yardage. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline, but what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Throw left side complete. That's Jones. And he showed some fancy footwork on the juke, but then quickly taken down. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Love's throw finds its target, Dobbs. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that will bring up third and one. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That second down play nets a minus four. That was a good illustration of setting the edge as a defensive end, being able to make sure that you stay on your feet no matter what type of block, and you're not going to get pushed inside, stayed home, skated to the outside, and made the play. 
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. And, partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Play fake. Here's Love. Musgraves got it out right. He'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Throwing. Love. are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Now Jones. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets them down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. From the two now, second and goal. Well, look at this, a tight end carry. And he'll take this into the end zone for the Green Bay touchdown. Luke Musgrave taking it in from two yards out. And the Packers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out, but they'll do so fatigued. Carlson's extra point up and good, and we are tied at seven. see James he will not return it and they'll bring it out to the 25 Kansas City taking the field for their second drive Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. That time, a little misdirection really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way. From the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies and hit you back the opposite direction, huh? throw here complete to Kelsey and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50 give him 15 yards on that one Kansas City has a first down man coverage on the left side so I really like the design of this play because they opened up the field and brought their tight end the other way on a crossing route that's a lot of ground to cover if you're a defender I've been there before unable to stay with his man there and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. As they're looking at a second down and nine to go.
Mahomes now to throw. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Kadarius Tony, 48 yards. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 14-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Now, able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Love looking to throw it. That's taken in by the tight end, Josiah Naguara. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. Love with a give to Dillon to about the 33-yard line. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. This is second and eight. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. One advantage having an elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. On third down, Love. And that is incomplete. I'm sure that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. Here's Daniel Whelan now. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. James now to return. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And they will take over first and 10. KC's offense ready to take over. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at about the 32. That's to a former Packer, Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Eight yards on the pickup brings up second and two at the 40-yard line. 
Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and two. They go play fake. Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scambling. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Second and short. That's a rundown. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantling. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. Trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play, and that's going to lead them to fourth down. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down. No problem there. They get the first by plenty on fourth and inches. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense. They can't get the stop here. Meanwhile, the home throw caught by Gray. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. To Valdez, Scantling over the middle. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the three-yard line. Come on, baby, up. Mahomes quickly complete out wide. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. No gain on the play. And now we've got a third down and three. And if you're going to pass down here, you better get that in the end zone. I agree with you totally. And as we both know, the field's already condensed. There's just not a lot of space. So you've got to create some by getting some people downfield into the end zone. If you want to throw it short, you've got to have some movement, some room in order to do that. That one didn't work. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards up first. That is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Chiefs' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now 21-7. to Thank you. 
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. Now, yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Again, it's Jones. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And this offense on third down today, they've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. Now Love. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, it's looking like another three and out here, and at some point, got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit, and we're not even at halftime. And here's Daniel Whelan on now to punt. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. On the return, it's James. A 39-yard punt, a return of five. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. start the drive here with Pacheco and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight second and two so much of the game today we're looking for hybrid players guys who can do a combination of jobs and anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles we just saw the linebacker make that play a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now here's Mahomes. stop that they needed because they've got a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Here comes Reed. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Here's Love. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. A four-receiver look here. Three out to the left, one to the right on second and eight. Love. 
He'll drop this underneath for Jones. Shedding the tackle, and it gives him some room. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 48-yard line. Love going to give this one to Jones, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. Five yards, now it's third and five. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Love now. And the Chiefs are going to get him. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. They have been red hot, sometimes white hot here in this first half. They're just looking to add to that total right now. And this has to serve as a reminder to myself because so many times I get wrapped up in the play calling, how they've sequenced things, how it's run. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still execution. Those guys out on the field, and right now they are locked in and really looking good. They'll try to continue to be locked in here as we get ready to approach halftime. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I've got a good friend in football, always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. Mahomes again here on second and 10. That went into the hands of Tony downfield. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. This is part of why this guy's got multiple MVPs on the mantle. We're used to seeing him make the impossible throws, but here Mahomes knows he's got nothing, so he wisely just gets rid of it. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Mahomes to throw once more. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. 
Back to throw. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good, and they will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. So a big play before the end of the half to get them into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the 1-2 to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Unable to corral him. He fights through. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports halftime report. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They've reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. Oh, no. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. From the 29, here's second down and seven. Here's Pacheco once again, and he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. He's tackled at the 32 yard line. A three yard gain on the play brings up third down. Here is third down and four. To throw, it's Mahomes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots, 
They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Quick throw caught out wide by Valdez Scantlick. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. From the 48-yard line, here's a second and seven. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that one caught by Rice. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. It's a gain of seven. Brings up third and inches. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Throwing now is Mahomes. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Chiefs first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. From the 43, here's second and nine. Now Mahomes. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Tony. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 31-yard line. And the officials here going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard, completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Pushes past him. He'll drop this off to Pacheco. Touchdown! Isaiah Pacheco. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. A CD, you know he's got great options at wide receiver tight end, but there he looks to the backfield, and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. You maybe forget about some of the ones that you should be covering. And they made him pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield? They're eligible, too. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead is now 24. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. 
Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. A 4-3 defense there did its job, funneled things right to the middle linebacker. If they do a nice job of playing team defense, everyone takes care of their responsibilities. That allows that guy in the middle to do his job, which is search and destroy. And he's taken down, a chief sack. Trent McDuffie able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On the delay, Jones. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. On now is the Packers punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. Last drive, surgeon-like, dare I say, seven for seven. That'll help your QB rating. <laughs> it will indeed, won't it? Can you figure out QB rating? Can you do I, it? Can no, you do the formula? No, I just know the higher the number, the better. Yeah, that's what I've been <laughs> that's told, what too. I know. I know that in the NFL, 158.3 is the number they're all trying to get to. I think he was that on that last drive. Still going. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. I know I should keep the focus and the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Butker on for the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to <laughs> hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the past. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. 
Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. And this is a situation where, as a head coach, you're just saying, what else could go wrong? Let's get it all out of our system, please. This has been a sloppy game throughout. The execution has been lacking. A lot of mistakes, both mental and physical. And here's a big play that goes by the wayside. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The ball back to the Chiefs and Isaiah Pacheco. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And again, that second score here in the third quarter. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Second and nine. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. That'll be caught by Rice. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's third and a few inches. Pacheco gets it and tries the left side. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. He lost two, and it brings up four. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on to kick it away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. What did I think there? So not just running into the punter, but roughing the punter. And I'm struggling with this one. You know, you're watching it, partner. Is it more the first rather than the latter? This is a tough one. It almost feels like he felt like he had to call it on that play. So a big break. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down leads to first and ten. And it's straight. It's Pacheco. And it's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. 103 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry... It puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Mahomes now on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 23 yards the pick up there. Well, those backups on the sideline, they got to be eagerly anticipating the fourth quarter upcoming. Look at the size of the lead, how they're moving the football. This defense really struggling and giving up plays like we just saw. Yeah, Stars have certainly done all they've needed to in this one, haven't they? 
But my question is, will he be able to resist the urge to continue to run things up a bit and get his main guys a few bonus stats before he calls them off the field? And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Now here's Mahomes. This will be caught at about the five. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blue. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, a dynamo since the break. Three third-quarter touchdowns. And the Chiefs get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers ready to take over offensively. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I, I don't know, do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Big stop from a guy who can bring a big hit, Nick Bolton. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Second down, another shot for Jones. Four yards on the pick up there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Love. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Give him 18 on that play, and Green Bay has the first as well. A lot of ground left to make up, obviously. A lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. And they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and 10 from the shotgun again to Jones. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. That's a game of three. It's third and seven. On third down, Love. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter.
Chris Jones in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Well, certainly not the way that they were hoping that possession would end, failing to convert on fourth. And now they've got to make sure that they keep their poise, they keep their confidence. Just because it didn't work once doesn't mean if they get that same situation later that they shouldn't go for it again. The defense feels great, but the offense, they can't be despondent. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning, trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. Was that a design pass or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On second down, here's Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scandling. So the completion good for seven there. And third and one now. They're going to look to throw. That is caught. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Mahomes. And it's caught. So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. Crucial foul. So obviously they will decline the penalty there and the result is six points. Butker now to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A drive that time of six plays. And it's Kadarius Toney who caps things with a touchdown reception. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Nixon now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. 
We said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them, maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. Love now. Finds his receiver, Watson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Now, this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point, where we're at in the fourth quarter, with how wide this advantage is, for this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert, you would have heard plenty of sour notes in this one. But they certainly don't want to end it on one. They want to put together a few more throws like that and at least have a final drive to give them a little bit more hope as they move forward. A good first down call as the screen play gets them nine. Just need a yard here, second and one. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Another great play defensively. They've been sharp on both sides of the ball, Charles, but that interception means that this defense will very well keep them down to single digits on the scoreboard in this game. And that's certainly something to smile about, isn't it, partner, if you're on defense? Because your goal every game is to pitch a shutout, but you and I both know that's pretty unrealistic. But to hold a team below double figures in a game, in an NFL game, that's certainly something to take pride in. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 37. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. A run by Pacheco on second down. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. This offense so far on third down, they've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This will be third and six. Still shedding tackles. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with a lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that, plus three. He finds his man complete. That's Rice. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. 
This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Mahomes throw caught by Gray. Seven yards there and a first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, take, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. Nine-yard line, second and six. Toss right side to Pacheco. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock even in a situation that we're not really focused on it. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline. His fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. But that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've had no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed a single one of them. Butker on for the PAT. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. They'll throw again. Here's Love on second and 10. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now Love. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down, right near the 24. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. 
So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and we have reached the two-minute warning. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Again, it's Pacheco. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. The run defense, they have been porous at times today, but not that last go around. No, they really tightened it up, didn't they? They finally got themselves a win because all game long we've seen them get gashed. This time, they played their responsibilities, played their keys, and made a nice stop. Pacheco gets it up the gut, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time, they get him behind the line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays. And they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Brandon, every great running backs coach that I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed... They did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Lambeau.